In this example, we're going to look at another application of dimensional analysis. This is actually outside of the typical med dosage videos that I do showing dimensional analysis. You may have to take a quantitative reasoning class. As a matter of fact, this example is from one of the quantitative reasoning classes that I teach at a college. I really want to stress that dimensional analysis is a great technique to have in your toolbox of problem solving skills. And if you followed my videos, keyword, how. If you're ever trying to figure out how much, how many, how far, how long, in a math problem, the word how, very often that is an indicator that you can use dimensional analysis. Now in this example here, not dose count, but still we're going to do some dimensional analysis. And if we look at our goal, how far away is the canyon wall at your spot in feet? And looking up here, we know that sound moves at about 750 miles per hour. This number is not exact, but it's close enough. So if you hike down into the Grand Canyon and you shout across the Grand Canyon, here's what's going to happen. When you shout, it's going to go across the canyon, it's going to bounce off the canyon wall, and it's going to come back to you. And when it reaches this point, you will hear the echo. Well, you may be thinking, who cares about this? Still, it's kind of a neat application. So if you shout across the Grand Canyon, in this particular case, it takes three seconds for the echo to return to you, and we can actually figure out how far away the other side of the canyon is. So I mentioned a moment ago, our goal is feet. I do not see feet anywhere up here in our problem, but I do see miles. That's going to trigger this conversion. Our goal is feet. I always like to start off with my goal. So I'm starting off with 5,280 feet. That is equal to one mile. That is a conversion that never changes. I brought in this conversion because now we can tie in 750 miles per hour. That's what I'm writing right here. And I am putting it in this order so that we can cancel out our miles. And we're gonna have to tie in this three seconds somehow. So we need to get rid of hours. Now, some of you may know that one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. But if you didn't know that, no big deal. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. We can cancel out our hours. But we still need to find a way to tie in these three seconds, which means we need to get rid of this minute. Well, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. That is the third conversion we have used in this problem. One, two, three different conversions. But now that we finally have seconds down here, we can bring in the three seconds. And I'm putting that at the top so that we can cancel out our seconds. And look at what we have left. The only word is feet. We've met our goal. Let's multiply all of our top numbers and divide by all of our bottom numbers. And when we do that, the classic dimensional analysis approach that I always teach, we get 3,300 feet, but we have to be careful. That is not how far away that canyon wall is because it takes three seconds for the echo to return to us. So when you shout over here, it goes across the canyon, bounces off the wall and comes back to you in three seconds. So this total distance there and back, that is the 3,300 feet. We need to divide that by two because we're only trying to figure out how far away the other side of the canyon is. So it's going to be half of that distance, 1,650 feet. 